Are you ready for the best final item from this sale? Hello and welcome back to my channel where I do all various types of vintage inspired things. For today's video, I'm going to show you a recent estate sale haul. I scored some pretty great items even though it was the third day of the sale. This sale had all kinds of vintage gloves, hats, jewelry, shoes, and I mean hundreds of pairs of shoes, hundreds of hats, hundreds of pairs of gloves, and I can only imagine how amazing it was on that first day. I wish I could have gone, but there was one item that I was particularly interested in, and I just figured by the time I get to the sale, it is definitely going to be gone. But it wasn't gone. It was still there. And I didn't even ask about it because I just assumed it would not be there. But then I turned around and there it was. First, before I show you that item, let me show you some of the other really amazing items that I got. I could not believe the amount of glamorous items that she had obtained throughout her life. I just wish there were photos of her from the 1950s and 60s. I did see ones where she was older. She was a violinist, so there were some flyers from some of the concerts that she'd given, and she looked amazing. I just would love to see her in some of these items that I had gotten and see how she styled them, where she wore them to. <sighs> but sadly, we don't know, so we will have to imagine just how fabulous she looked and the various things that I got. Number one that I got is this vintage hat with these little feathers on it. I don't know a whole lot about what type of feathers these are. It's not in the very best shape. It has some, I'm not really sure what this is, but it has some staining up here and I'm sure it is missing some feathers too, but I thought it would make for a perfect hat for photo shoots and it fit my head so well I just could not pass it up. I don't have many vintage hats that feel this secure on my head. So this one was a no-brainer. It was $15. I think that was money well spent. There, the hats were a little pricier. I have found some amazing deals on hats at estate sales. And the thing with the sale, there were no discounts. Usually, I would say nine and a half times out of 10, you go to a sale on the last day, there's a discount. Even sometimes, if you go the day before the final day, there's a discount. Unfortunately, everything was full price, but 15 wasn't too bad for this. You can never have too many scarves and it definitely needs a little bit of a soak so I'm gonna do that it has just some staining on it uh, but I really like it I'm trying to tie it I'm having a hard time there we go so I love having scarves just to add a little extra something to an outfit and anytime I do a scarf like this it makes me feel very movie star-esque I just need some really big glasses hold on let me see what I can find Okay, there we go. Very old Hollywood movie star. I love it. The only thing missing is my 1955 convertible, but until that becomes a reality, we will have to imagine how fantastic that would be. Oh, these gloves. Like I said, there were hundreds of pairs of gloves left. I can only imagine how many were there on the first and second day. I will say, she had tiny little hands, so most of the ones that I tried did not actually fit me, which is fine because a lot of them were white. I have a number of white gloves already, so it made it a little bit easier to show some restraint, which is not always easy for me when it comes to finding vintage things. And I think a big part of that is because when you find a vintage item, if you don't get it right then, the odds of you finding something similar are pretty low or finding an item exactly like it or it's just it's almost like when you go somewhere and something's on sale and you're like if I don't buy it now it's gonna be gone it's almost like vintage items are always on sale because if you don't get it then that item's gonna be gone but you have to find ways to become okay with that otherwise you're just gonna end up with so many things in your collection I digress anyway these are beautiful velvet has this nice little detailing going up on the front side and they also seem like they have not been worn uh, which is good for me but then I wonder why didn't these ones get worn you know I always wonder the story of people's items especially the ones that look like they were brand new just because what was it about those ones that made that person not wear them? The other side of the token there, there I saw a number of items that were well worn and well loved and I wish 
that I knew more of the story behind those. This next hat, let me tell you, I made friends while I was there with a couple other women. One woman there who was so sweet, I tried on a few hats and she looked over and was like, that one's great, that one's great. And then by the third one, she was like, I'm not gonna look anymore because all of those look good on you and I am jealous. I don't know if that's true, but it's very nice of her to say. So one of these other women that I had made friends with pulled this hat out of the closet and said, did you see this one? I had not seen this one. Here it is. What? This one is so different than any hat that I own, but it reminded me of Dior's new look, and so I knew that it would make for a really great photo hat. So, here it is. And my only thought beyond how fabulous is this hat was where did this woman wear this hat? I would love to know how often she wore it. And I mean, I can only imagine how stunning she looked. I, I just wish I knew what dress she was wearing, what jewelry she was wearing. Speaking of jewelry, so I also got a couple other things in this little box. These little black clip-on earrings. I do have a number of clip-on earrings, but I do not have black. Can never have too many clip-on earrings, right? I need to count how many I have at this point because it's a lot. It's a lot. And I find the best places for finding clip-on earrings or just vintage costume jewelry is at estate sales. Look at these. I also got this hair comb. I don't wear a lot of hair combs. Unfortunately, my hair is pretty thin. It does not hold hair combs very well. The good thing about this one is that it's decorative, but it's plastic. So I have another one that's decorative, but it's metal, and it's just there's no way it stays in my hair, unfortunately. A problem that I always have because my feet are huge and women in the past had really tiny feet apparently or they just stuck their feet into shoes that were too small for them because more often than not whenever I find vintage shoes they're about a size five to six let's say my foot is a nine and a half so you can do the math on that I, I find it very hard to find vintage shoes at this point I have one pair that I can comfortably wear and then I have two other pairs that I use mainly for photos and videos because one is in kind of rough shape and the other one they fit but they're really uncomfortable so I can't really walk in them but they're super cute for photos. So I found another pair of vintage shoes. My foot can get in them. I cannot fully tighten the strap behind them but they were three dollars. I just love vintage peep toe kitten heels. Sucker for that type of shoe. I'm thinking maybe it's possible to get an extender put on them, but I'm not sure because I took a pair of vintage shoes to get repaired. They cost me a dollar and they wanted to charge me $50 to repair them and I just thought, I don't know if that's really worth it. I still think they're super cute. They can go in my collection. They'll be used for photos. One more item before the final one that I was saying that I went to the sale hoping would still be there and it miraculously was still there. But before that, I got this little duster maybe is what you would call it. I do believe it is vintage. Look at that lining. Isn't that amazing? I just am obsessed with that. And I think this with a fitted dress and maybe even that hat in there was just gonna be such a pretty look. I think I forgot to mention also, this house was wild. It was almost as if somebody built it and then a few years later built another part of it and then a few years later built another part of it. It was very disconnected. Um, there was kind of add-ons outside that felt a little bit more slapped together. The main house was, was fairly in good shape, but it was just very interesting. It was a type of house that was not that large but you can get lost because you can go out one door and then go upstairs, but go out this other door and then go down to this basement and none of it really connected all that well. So it was definitely different, but the woman who lived there had some serious sense of style. Are you ready for the best final item from this sale? Christian Dior hat circa the 1950s. Isn't it stunning? And I'm not ever gonna own a 1950s vintage Dior dress because they are wildly expensive. However, I can buy a vintage Christian Dior 
hat. But here's the label. Here it is. I thought that this would just make a really lovely piece for photos. Also just a cool collector's piece. At this point, I have amassed a number of vintage hats. This would make a nice addition to my collection. And I mean, it's Dior, right? That's so fun, that's so fun. Even if I'll never have a Dior dress, I can say I have a Dior hat. Okay, that was it. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.